We're at now what I consider is one of the most important parts of the whole planning operation, and that's basically seeing that the metering device and the machine has delivered the seed to where we want it. And just depending on whether we're um, going to uh, water up, in which case we're, we're looking at the seed probably sitting somewhere between uh, uh, one and a half and uh, two and a half centimetres. We don't want it. We don't want it too shallow, otherwise we end up with a lot of seeds uh, with the seed coat coming with them. If it's too deep, we're, we're often got problems with uh, watering up, particularly if we get a bit of rain on top of it. In the other case, if we're planting into pre-watered country or a dryland grower uh, planting into subsoil moisture, we're looking at a depth of probably somewhere around about the five centimetres. And we want to see, see those seeds sitting uh, right in the bottom of that trench, particularly in, when we're going to that moisture situation. For this unit everything's looking pretty good, so we, we've got a, a line of seeds there about um, two centimetres below the surface, um, all, all sitting quite well. Every unit, every situation is different and, and calls for quite a bit of time to be spent in this simple operation. We should do it at least twice in that, in that first run, just looking for any units that may be not putting the um, product where we want it. Obviously it's um, pretty important when you're planning to check you've got the right variety, the right treatment and also note the lot number because there is some variability in seed size even within the one variety. It's quite simple to go on the CSD website or print out a copy of the statement of the seed analysis which gives exactly the seed count for the particular seed lot you're about to put in the paddock and you can make the necessary adjustments uh, with your gearing to ensure that you get the desired seed drop.